conversation, suddenly Hector and Jose burst into the scene and decided to take over the interview. What's up with that? Okay, we got a question for you. Okay, if you are, were a professional Mexican luchador, what would your name be? Because we got a special move for you. Really? You'd come out, you'd sing him a lullaby, they'd fall asleep, and you'd beat him up. <laughs> But what would your wrestling name be? Yeah, My wrestling be? name be... Um, so sing in Spanish is El Cantante. <laughs> so pronunciation is wrong. Would you, what would you choose? And I'll translate it for you. Um, man, huh. I don't know. El Singing Destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, it'd be more like El Bunto or something. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, no! That's my name! Really? Yes! Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you see this? A Spanish song almost? No, my mom actually used to always sing a Spanish lullaby. Oh, oh I don't sweet. remember all right, of You don't remember? Okay, bit. I don't remember the words, but I do remember that. Los cochinitos ya están en la cama. Dun, dun, dun. I don't remember what's after that. What are you sleep already? <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. Wow. Uh, what's the song called? I don't know. I think it's just Los cochinitos. What does Google. that mean? The little <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I'm sorry. What kind of Spanish food does uh, David Archuleta like? You'll find out right after this, bit. I haven't seen the guy for a couple of years, yep. and then that chance was taken away from us by Hector and Jose, who decided to do the interview themselves. Why? So here's another thing we wanted to know. That JD and Ian, they look tired all the time. What is your advice? Stop laughing at me. <laughs> I gotta do this seriously, okay? <laughs> what is your advice to them to be a little bit more fresh? You got a glow. A glow? I do? Like You've been up from what time, Holmes? Three forty. Seriously? Yeah. It's nine in the, in the morning. morning. There's no way. In the morning? In the morning. So what's your yeah. advice to make people look glowy like you? What do you eat, Holmes? I don't know. Do you I eat a lot of vegetables? Do you... Well, here I've been eating a lot of fruit. How about Mexican food, Holmes? What kind of Mexican food you like? Well, my mom's from Central America. All right. So I love, she, um, in Honduras, there are things called baleadas. Mm. They're really good. And then there's also something um, called pupusas that I love. Right. And have you guys had horchata before? No, I, it sounds like you're chatting. <laughs> horchata. <laughs> horchata. <laughs> it's so good. It's just like rice drink. Oh. But they make it different in Central America. It's so good. They use this thing called morro. It's amazing. Oh, so good. It's something like that. It's smaller. It's called Leso. No, Leso. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. God. At that point, Ian and I thought, you know, enough is enough. Uh, we kicked H H Hector and Jose out. Yeah. And we asked David Archuleta which rapper he liked to work with. <laughs> That's right after this. Isn't it? <laughs> That's to work with a rapper. Who would it be? Man, oh. I don't know. I would have. I think it would be really cool to do one with Eminem just because. Yeah, because my. <laughs> well, just because. I don't know. My my brother and my sister are both huge Eminem fans, and uh, I, and I do. I think some of his songs do have. He's very honest with yep. his lyrics, and I think, and that's is something I appreciate. Sometimes it is a little. It is rough, yep. but um, I think I like that. He, He's real, you know, instead of just talking about all this weird. Yeah. I mean, it's, some of the songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of there's, there's some out of it, but yeah, I like the songs that he's really real about, and it, I don't know, it'd be cool. It'd be cool if you be like the best yeah. brother. If you ever do that, I know your brother's just like, you're so awesome. I don't think Eminem would ever do something. Like that. You would never know. And the thing is, <laughs> JJ and I know there's a whole bunch of David Archuleta fans here in Malaysia. We wanted to know what his message to y'all was. Oh, just to the fans of Malaysia, no, it's so great to be back here. I just, um, been so excited being here it's been over two years since i've been here so i'm just glad i've been able to see some of the fans already and i'm so excited to be able to um, perform a full concert and I hope to see all you guys there sweet sweet yeah david Angelata, yo thank you so much for spending time with us nice one here's what jj and ian have under the hood as we drive into the next hour